Hi, this is Michaela Rowe, and we are here at Surge the Movement Conference with our first service project. Pastor Sarah, tell us a little bit about what's going on right now. We are currently clearing out part of our garage to set up for our compassion ministry, and we are getting ready for a garage sale that's going to take place on October 5th. The whole purpose behind Surge the Movement Conference is to teach the students and the young adults to be the hands and feet of Jesus, go into the community, and to serve and just show people the love of Jesus. We are here at our second service project at Hope Pregnancy Center. It's not just about the cleaning, but it's about the lives that are gonna to be touched. Our main goal is to show Christ's love to these women that are in crisis. And we so if they choose to, keep their baby. We support them by offering parenting classes and baby clothes, diapers, you know, after the baby's born. We support them even after the baby's born. And we share the gospel with everyone that comes through. What does it mean to you to have these girls, these teenage girls coming in and helping, you know, help with the place here? Oh, it's a it's a major blessing because we don't have anybody that comes in and cleans. We our volunteers, if they have time, they dust and clean, but we don't have a you know regular cleaning service. So it's a major blessing. I mean it's just blesses my heart that these ladies are willing to do this. Hey guys, we are here at our third service project at the Mission Soup Kitchen. Tell us a little bit about what we are doing. Uh, we got some of the kids sweeping and cleaning up the house. Later we're going to be power washing the entire house and the, the porch and all that stuff. We got some of the ladies over there separating each uh, each kind of clothing. We got from small youth children to women's men. And they're also over here in this area. We're going to be serving food and then we're going to have some of the youth and kids pray over the visitors that come. Lewis, what is your mission here at the Soup Kitchen? Our mission is to be the hands and feet of Jesus, to show the love of God by, by being personal with people, by giving them food, uh, clothes, but above all is by bringing them hope and, 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 and God's love through our actions. How does it make you feel um, having all these teenagers out here helping you? I think it's awesome. I think it's a great idea because they can learn today here by serving with us that they need to be more sensitive to other people's needs so they can take it to their schools, to their homes, to their communities, to their families and uh, share the love of Jesus. We are here at our final service project at our Cove House Emergency Homeless Shelter. Hey guys, I'm here with Cameron. They came all the way from Fairfield, Texas, River of Life Church. Y'all came here for Surge the Movement Conference. Tell us a little bit about, you know, your kids are here actually helping us in our city. How is it impacting your kids? Well, anytime that our students get the opportunity to serve, whether it's in our city or another city, it's an awesome experience for them to be able to, uh, you know, live the life that Jesus Christ lived. And so it's, it's awesome just being able to serve anywhere we can. What they're trying to accomplish right now is to clean and have these apartments ready. We're working in four apartments so we can have it available for the community and they can stay here for up to two weeks. Yes, so it will help them. It's a transitional home, so it will help them get on their feet, you know, in two weeks. Yeah. What are you uh, wanting the kids to learn from this experience? I know for sure that at the moment they can appreciate what they have. You know, they know that they could not take for granted what they have. When, when, when they came here, they were ecstatic, you know, to be able to not only work, but see the conditions. And we have almost one apartment that is ready, so they get to see, you know, the before and after, and they know what we're shooting for. 